Hey guys, welcome back. Let's get back into it. Back to Hogwarts Legacy. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? It was nothing, sir. I hope I didn't say too much. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Oh, okay, oh, wow. Okay, so we've got some skills here. What's this? Wow! That looks ace. Wait a second. Kill an enemy instantly. What's this one? This is... Oh, oh shit, um, wow, hmm. I can go invisible, okay, what's this, flames, oh, wait, is this, yep, is this the one I think it is, ah, oh, that looks ace, and then we've got, Ooh, that life looks good. So you can lift people up there. Okay. Very interesting. To say the least. Right, I have two locations I must go to. Let's open the quest log. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Right. Whoa. I thought there was some spot. No, Wait, the tail moves. Wait, can I, um... That's some bullshit. What the fuck? Um, I must have hit my head pretty hard. Ridiculous! Oh, ridiculous! Real world work. Why is this so laggy? 
might have to restart the game. Expecting that. Oh, guys, the game keeps lagging on me. You can probably see this. I'm sure you'll be able to see this. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Oh, come on! Yeah, the game's gonna crash, I can see it. Um, here! I think the game is Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Oh, Hello, Gryffindor. I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. Ha ha ha! My now. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Oh, my days. Oh! Sorry. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, 
What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the... <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Okay, so very we're simply back. cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But <laughs> instead of throwing the marbles out, that's it! Don't lose your composure! Excellent control there! Very good! Very good! Points to Slytherin! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! Oh, hello there. Time for a challenge, go on. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. What's this? Okay. That is how it's done. Okay. I know everyone is watching, but try not to be nervous. You are doing quite well. Uh. Splendid! Here we go! She'll probably beat me. Yep, I screwed that off. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Too much, too much. Oh, yeah, she's yes. she's obviously beaten me. Akio. Oh, yeah, she's beaten me. That's it. By twenty points. Okay. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Okay. Come on! Yes! Very good! Watch this! That's it. Ooh. That is how it's done! <laughs> oh, really? Right. Come on! Yes! Get in there! Quite impressive. Let's see. Let us see this. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Akio. Keep going, keep going. Oh, yes. A perfect score. Remarkable. <laughs> well, that's 
that's how you do it. That was fun. Very good, both of you. Well done. So yeah, the game ended up crashing on me, believe it or not. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I think my PC had a bit of a moment. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Uh. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah! I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. I had a feeling. Of course, you can use Akio on humans. A word if you're if so you would. Blind. Is that a Hermione Granger? You'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom. It looks like Harry Potter. And a Hermione Great. Apart from the glasses. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Oh, wow. I just want to get on a broom. I'm not going to lie. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Okay, right, so that was interesting. My older brother used to terrorize me. <gasps> <gasps> Looks like little Leah. Oh. oh, it's a little cat I used to know. Oh, the sheds get put down. Oh, oh, it's a guy. I gotta do it again. <laughs> Yay. Oh, the bo it's worth the money. It's worth it. Yep, best game in the world. I don't care. 
I know there's a lot of shit going around about this game. Oh, whoa. Wow. Wait, can I? Oh, wow. I like this. <gasps> this one's kind of cute. Hello. Hello there. Oh, yep. I like this. Yep, it's a good game. Good game. Good game. Can I pick the box up? Like... Hello. Wait, there's no way I can actually. Uh. So I'm so I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry. I I am uh, sorry. I'm nah, I kind of feel bad. I'm sorry. I was thinking, can you actually pick the cats up? I'm sorry. There you go. There you go. We're friends again. I felt kind of bad. <laughs> you want to go up? Wait, what? How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Is that all you've got? Let me also! Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? That'll One teach you. unspeakable <laughs> is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Levioso. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Right here. Let us begin with a basic cast. Dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Oh, this is deep. Oh. Very good, but the best way to practice is by duel. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want to fair you. Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Wait, how do you block the answer? Why? This should be the This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. I do join lively duel. Good. Now, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you down there? Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I'll always be better. Oh, yeah. 
I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Oh, you Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Okay. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I'd hate to face Professor Hecket in a duel. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Oh. Nice work. I enjoyed that. That duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. It was never used, though. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, <laughs> you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. Uh... If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need, whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. We shall see. Till next time. I need a broom. That's all I want right now. I just want a broom. I want to fly. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Revelio. I'm most pleased to be included. I need to. My next mission. Let's see. Okay. Let us not on your nose. Uh, that was a bit of a lag. Fucking hell. My FPS is a bit fucking. But. Leviosa. <laughs> Huh? Okay, fine, I won't do it again. Uh, oh dear, please don't, please don't crash. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Uh... Isn't there? Shit. No. Mm. 
Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Oh. I'm, I'm eager ready. to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Um. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. How about... I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Oh. Oh. What a beer. Let's go. <clears throat> Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, you know it. Okay. You never know what to say. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Oh, that'd hmm. be handy. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Um. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Uh, I, I have a, I have a really important quest. I, I, okay. I guess I should. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Accurate. Got it. Oh, so I need to get the pages. Oh, okay. A flying page must be around here somewhere. I mean, you can't really miss that, can you? Brilliant. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Okay. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, I didn't realize I fucked it. Eee, that was the first one. I gotta keep an eye on that. I thought you'd press A all the time. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. 
Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Um, okay, but um, in the nicest way, I want to go get my wand. Let's go. Can I? Oh. Oh, it's down there. I haven't been through. There's something in there. We just know it. Oh, fucking hell. I can't even see what you look like. I just warped out. Oh. I thought it was the other one. From my, uh... From Slytherin. Honestly, the okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so I've never really been a fan of Harry. Well, I won't say a fan. I just had. It's not that I don't like. It, I just never really watched it. Hello, Revelio. I rather... Oh dear, there's a game Lassie, plan. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Okay.